fighting was the sudden turn of Halsey's fleet after defeating the enemy north of the Philippines. He was driving in to sink all of the remaining Japanese ships after his bombers had blasted battleship and carrier alike when a sudden call for help came from the San Bernardino and Cebu Yan Sea area to the south. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kincaid's yeah. baby flat tops were hard pressed by the enemy because his battleships were away cutting down the enemy force in the Strait of Surigao. The soldier poet of the First World War wrote in his diary, Every generation has to pay the price for its existence. Surely this war will pay the price for many generations to come. One week later the soldier was killed in Ypres, and sadly his words were to ring hollow. For in 1939 the world was plunged into war again. In remembering the Second World War, we acknowledge the debt we owe to all those who fought for our future by land, sea and air and to those who served on the home front. We remember too those who served so courageously behind enemy lines, the resistance movements and the many unsung heroes and heroines. The monumentous struggles against overwhelming odds in the early days of the war led by slow and painful stages to the great and successful invasion of occupied Europe in June 1944, arguably the most decisive battle in world history. It is right, therefore, that 65 years on, those events should be remembered by us all with deep gratitude. And now, a Frenchman wrote, Every year, friends come to our shores to solemnly meditate in gigantic cemeteries. And to those heroes that the flowering apple trees now give shelter to parents and children who believe in freedom, love and beauty, and whose hearts are filled with hope and joy, and now that the Normandy countryside gives protection beneath its hedges to men who are perhaps wiser under calmer sky. In a changing world, we must never forget the dedication and sacrifice of previous generations and the human spirit that persists even against the most overwhelming odds. It's a great pleasure to welcome so many people here today, above all, the veterans of World War II, but also the young people of the present day's generation who can say, as I can say from my generation to yours, the generation of D-Day, thank you for the peace that you gave us. The 
original plaque was unveiled on the 50th anniversary and it says in memory of those who gave their lives during the D-Day invasion of 1944 when thousands of Allied troops departed from these shores, this anchor commemorates the 50th anniversary of the landings to which we now have an additional plaque which commemorates the 65th anniversary and we will always remember what we owe to those of that generation who are here today and who never returned. To the glory of God and in gratitude for the courage, dedication and heroism of the members of the armed forces of the Crown, the Commonwealth of Nations and our gallant allies who left from these shores to embark in the struggle to secure the freedom from tyranny for the peoples of Europe, we dedicate this memorial that all those who pass by might be reminded of the cost of the freedom we all enjoy in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, King of kings and Lord of lords, hear us as we pray for the nation to which we belong. Guide with thy eternal wisdom our sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, and all her counsellors. Make us strong in faith and righteousness and in the love of freedom, and grant that we may still be counted worthy to do our part in the leading of the nations of the world into the true paths of peace. For the honour of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Not unto us, O Lord, but unto thy name do we give praise and thanksgiving for the deliverance of the peoples of Europe made possible by the successful launch of the D-Day Armada. Grant as we commemorate today the courage and sacrifice of all the sailors, soldiers and airmen who played their part in that heroic enterprise, that we may ever follow their example in faithfulness to duty and loyalty in service of all that is true and noble. Amen. We are not unmindful of those members of the armed forces who are currently serving in zones where there is great danger. We offer for them our prayer. O Lord our God, we commend to thy gracious care and keeping the men and women of the Royal Navy, the Army and the Royal Air Force currently serving in theatres of war. We pray that they may be protected from all dangers to body, mind, and soul. Continue to grant them a courageous and disciplined spirit. And may they be returned safely, having achieved success in the mission to which they have been appointed. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 